Here we're going to be looking at refinancing short-term debt to a long-term debt or equity here and when to reclassify short-term debt to a long-term debt here. Now refinancing a short-term obligation or debt on a long-term basis means either replacing it with long-term obligations or debts here or with equity securities or renewing, extending, or replacing it with short-term obligations for an, an uninterrupted period here extending beyond one year here or the operating cycle for the company, whatever is longer here. All right, so let's looking at the refinancing criteria here. Now, to exclude short-term debt from current liabilities, both of the following must be met here. Two, point, two items here. One, you must intend to refinance the debt, that is the short-term debt here on a long-term basis, so that it will not require use of working capital. And two, you must demonstrate an ability here to refinance the debt. Okay, so let's look at two examples that we're going to be looking at here. And example one is how we would be classifying this short-term debt here uh, to a long-term debt. Okay, so short-term debt is be, will be paid off after the balance sheet date and later replaced here with long-term debt. So we're going to be looking at this timeline here. So on 12-31-20-X1, that's the cutoff of the balance sheet date here. And we have this liability sitting on our balance sheet here of $80,000. And it's a notes payable uh, short-term uh, liability here. And we intend to refinance this uh, notes payable here. And and the other thing we want to look at here is uh, the balance sheet here on March 1st or 3120X2. This is the balance sheet is when we're going to have the issue date here in this balance sheet. So what we're going to have to determine here is this liability of $80,000, how it should be classified here on the balance sheet when it's issued. And again, that's our balance sheet here on 12-31-20X1. So we come down here and looking at our timeline here on 1-15-20X2, we pay off our notes payable here. This liability is $80,000 it was paid off. We paid that off here. And we paid it off uh, with the intention here that we with the means here of issuing some long-term debt. It could be equity too, but let's just say it was long-term debt here, say a bond of some sort. And we issued to hit uh, this long-term debt here for $200,000. Again, on 2520X2, after, uh, after the liability was paid off here. So the question is, how do we classify this liability? Again, we had a, issued enough here, uh, $200,000 to cover our liability here of $80,000. So let's go and let's I ask this answer this question here. Should the $80,000 of short-term debt be excluded from current liabilities here on 1231X1 uh, here on the balance sheet date here? When the, ba when the balance sheet would be issued here on 3120X2, uh, should this uh, $80,000 be excluded here as a current liability on, our, at, on this date on our balance sheet here? Uh, we're going to look at both yes and no here. So uh, first, no, because it used existing current assets before the long-term financing was obtained here. So we paid it off here before the long-term financing was obtained and we would have paid it off here with uh, existing current liabilities. So it would still be here, uh, it shouldn't be excluded here as a current liability. No, it, it is going to be included as a current liability because we only paid it off with a current liability. So it still remains as a current liability. Now let's look at the case here. Yes here. Now this is if the long-term debt was issued before the short-term liability was paid off. So had we issued this long-term debt here before the liability was paid off. So we just switch it. Long-term debt here was issued on 115-20x2 and the liability here would have been paid off on 25-20x2. Then yes, we could exclude this liability here, uh, um, our notes payable or that was paid off here as a current liability on our balance sheet here because it was paid off, it would have been paid off here with long-term debt here. So that answers that question here. No and yes, you have to look at the timing here. So if you issue the long-term debt before the liability is paid off, again with the intention of this long-term debt to refinance our current liability here, then you would uh, reclassify or not include on your balance sheet here any current liability uh, because it was paid off here with long-term debt. Now let's look at our other example here, and this is how we'd report this uh, debt here. 
Again, we're going to go through the same timeline here. We're going to have a balance sheet date here of 12-31-20-X1, and then um, the, that's the cutoff date here in the balance sheet. And then the balance sheet is going to be issued here on March 1st, 20X2. So again, we're going to have the case here where short-term debt is going to be paid off after the balance sheet date here and later replaced here with some long-term debt. Actually, it's going to be replaced with a long-term equity here. But we want to determine how we would report this short-term uh, again, it's going to be a notes payable here on our balance sheet when we report it. Now, what we're going to be looking at here, where a portion of the short-term debt will be excluded from the current liabilities, yet it, again, when you, if we exclude it from the current liabilities, you may not uh, exceed proceeds from the new debt or equity security used to retire the short-term debt. So let's look at our example here. Again, short-term debt notes payable here, liability uh, on the balance sheet here on 1231-20X1. It was $1.2 million we had the liability here. Now, um, coming, uh, looking at our timeline here on 115-20X2 here, we issued long-term equities, common stock here of $900,000. And the intention here of issuing this common stock was to pay off at least a portion here of our liability. We can't pay it all off, but we're going to uh, pay off a portion here of our liability with the issuance of this common stock. Again, on 115.20x2. And then on 25.20x2 here, we... Uh, retire this liability. The whole $1.2 million is paid off here of our notes payable here. And we did that here with the $900,000 common stock. And let's just say it was other current liabilities. Let's just say it was cash that was used here to pay off the $1.2 million. So again, we have the liability here on, on our at our our issue, our balance sheet is issued here on 3120X2, and we have this $1.2 million liability here. How should we report this here on our balance, on the balance sheet here? That uh, again, it's the balance sheet here for the end of the year here, 20X2 here, but we're issuing uh, the balance sheet here on uh, 20X1 here, 1231-20X1 here, but we're issuing the balance sheet here on 20X2 here, and then. Uh, on th March 1st, 20X2, and then we had, um, be in between those two dates, we issued the equity securities here to pay off at least $900,000 worth it of this um, short-term uh, uh, equity here as a notes payable, and then we actually paid off the uh, notes payable or the short-term, or the short or current asset here, uh, short-term debt here on 2520X2. So this is the question here. How should the short-term debt and notes payable be presented on the 1231-20X1 balance sheet here? So we're going to issue the balance sheet here in 3120X2 here, but we're going to, how would it rep be reported here in the 20X1 balance sheet? So this is how it, we'd break this up. The current liabilities, the notes payable here, we would have that uh, we listed under current liabilities uh, and those payable here for $300,000. Really, that's going to represent the cash. That was a current, uh, was paid off in cash, so that still remains as reported here as a current liability here for a notes payable, and we're going to reference it a note here to that. And then the long term debt here. Uh, we would classify that here for $900,000. We're going to reclassify that uh, uh, one point, uh, at least $900,000 worth of $1.2 million of our current liability here as long-term debt here. And again, because it was refinanced here on uh, 2.5 here. Again, after the balance sheet date here, but before the reporting date. So this is uh, this is the note that we'd be adding here for in notes payable here for the current liabilities part of three hundred thousand dollars plus the long term uh, debt here of nine hundred thousand dollars. Total amount here adds up to one point two million dollars. So we would have this note here. We'd have the short term debt notes payable here. Re Again, the note here would be on our uh, referenced here on our balance sheet when we issue it here. So the short term debt notes payable refinanced as of twelve thirty one twenty X one again refinanced as of the end of the reporting or uh, the uh, report or the cutoff date here on this balance sheet here 1231 20x1 the notes payable totaling 1.2 million dollars on was on 25 would have been paid off here on 20 uh 
2520X2. And again, notes payable re was refinanced to the extent of $900,000 received from the issuance of common stock on 11520X2, and the balance of $300,000 was liquidated from current assets. I'm just saying cash here. So this is how we'd be reporting this uh, debt here. And you can see that we had to, we issued, we can only report the uh, long-term portion here based on the issuance of what we issued here of the long-term equity. In this case, it was a long-term equity because we've been a long-term debt here. We can only uh, convert the the uh, this current uh, um, uh, current liability amount here, this notes payable, the one million two hundred thousand. We can only convert it to the long-term. The long, to a nine hundred thousand dollars worth of long term uh, debt here because we only issued it a nine hundred thousand dollars here to cover it and then the remaining amount would have to be uh, considered a current liability because that was paid off again with a current liability so that's how we'd handle uh, presenting uh, on our balance sheet here just going through our simple example just remember here uh, what we had to do is we had to determine this short how this short-term debt would be reported here as a, a notes payable in this case on the balance sheet here of 1231 uh, 20x1 even though the debt was paid off after the balance sheet date here it was paid off after the balance sheet date on on well, actually, it was paid off here on 2520X2, but then we issued this long term equity or debt here to cover the uh, at least $900,000 worth of payment here, this equity on 11520X2. So this is how we'd report it on our balance sheet here. So we had short term debt here, was paid off after the balance sheet date here, and then later replaced here with long term debt. At least some, a portion of was 900000 was replaced with long term debt, and then the remaining amounts still remained as a current debt here and that's how it would be reported here on the balance sheet here for 1231 20x1.